But tonight our top story is the Snoopgate showdown that has led to a lockdown in Parliament. The opposition led by the Congress is unrelenting at the moment, insisting that the Modi government fully debate the issue of the Pegasus Spygate scandal. The centre has hit back, calling the opposition protests a desperate bid to stall the working of Parliament. All of this comes on a day when Mamta Banerjee has been shoring up opposition unity by meeting several opposition leaders. Let's take a look at Anand Patel's report at the very top. Ruckus, sloganeering and hangama. That's Wednesday's proceedings in Parliament in a nutshell. The centre and opposition are in a relentless face-off. At the centre of it all, the Pegasus Spygate scandal. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi chaired a meeting of opposition leaders on Wednesday. Fourteen opposition parties came together to move adjournment motion notice over Pegasus. As a united opposition forced adjournments, there are indications that 10 opposition MPs may be suspended for their unruly behavior. Narendra Modi ji ne aur Amit Shah ji ne Hindustan ke loktantrik atma par chot mari hai. Isiliye hum Pegasus pe discussion chahte hain. Aur isiliye hum Pegasus pe discussion hone se pehle Rahul Gandhi also rejected Prime Minister Narendra Modi's accusation of blocking Parliament. हम Parliament House को disturb नहीं कर रहे हैं। हम सिर्फ हमारी जो जिम्मेदारी है, उसे पूरा करना चाहते हैं। और मैं सिर्फ एक Congress party का नेता नहीं बोल रहा हूँ। हर एक party का नेता आपको ये बताएगा कि हम सिर्फ अपनी जिम्मेदारी पूरा करना चाह रहे हैं। वो विरोध कर सकते हैं। लेकिन उसकी भी एक मर्यादा है मर्यादाओं को तोड़ने का काम आज जो कांग्रेस और तृणमूल कांग्रेस के सांसदों ने किया है उसकी जितनी निंदा की जाए उतनी कम है जो अपनी बात रखेंगे इवन दो द ऑपोजिशन हैज ओपनड मल्टीपल फ्रंट्स अगेंस्ट द मोदी गवर्नमेंट ओवर इश्यूज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम पेगसिस टू फार्म लॉस the unity is shaky. The absence of तृणमूल कांग्रेस एट राहुल्स मीट हैज रेज्ड आईब्रोस the TMC claimed its leaders are busy organizing Mamta Banerjee's meeting in the capital. Meanwhile, the West Bengal Chief Minister, who is on a mission to unite the opposition, met Congress President Sonia Gandhi later in the day. Despite opposition MPs stepping up their efforts to stall proceedings, the government has managed to pass bills in both the houses amid din. So while a discussion over Pegasus snooping looks unlikely, it has certainly brought the opposition parties together, much to the discomfort of the BJP. With camera person Parminder Sharma, this is Anand Patel in New Delhi for India Today. And the breaking news that's also coming in from Parliament, the Information Technology Crucial Parliamentary Committee meeting this afternoon was called off. The meeting was set to take up Snoopgate. This is because the BJP MPs have now decided to not, not cooperate with the committee which is headed by Shashi Tharoor. BJP MP Nishikan Dubey now has gone public claiming that Trinamool Congress MP Maua Moitra called him a Bihari Gunda. The BJP MP claims the TMC leader has insulted people from Bengali speaking states. His scathing charge came after TMC MP Maua Moitra objected to Dubey's attempt to remove Shashi Tharoor as the IT parliamentary party chairman, calling it a desperate attempt by the BJP to prevent the IT panel from grilling the Home Ministry and the Telecom Ministry on the Pegasus scandal. Let's go straight across first to Mahua Moitra, the TMC's uh, firebrand MP joins me. Appreciate your joining us, Ms. Moitra. Since Nishikan Dubey, your colleague, has now gone public and said that you have attacked him and called him a Bihari Gunda during that IT parliamentary standing committee meeting, you need to respond. Is it true that this meeting, unprecedentedly, 
was called up because there was no quorum and no telecom or home ministry officials who you had summoned were allowed to come to the meeting and you in turn called Nishikan Dubey a Bihari gunda? Rajdeep, I'm very amused at this. I've already tweeted about this and I'm glad you asked me upfront about this. Now, the IT committee meeting has 29 members, the standing committee, two of which have become ministers, so it's 27. Quorum is 10. Mm -hmm. Out of 10, there were nine members present and signed in. None of the BJP members, not one, were signed in and therefore they were not present. Now, I'm supposed to have called somebody a name. Please check the attendance sheet. If that person who I, he claims I have called him a name, if he were present, then it would have been the 10th. He would have been the 10th name. If he had been the 10th name, there would have been a quorum and the meeting would have continued. No, so are you telling me, no, no, just let, no, no, let, no, no, one minute, ma'am. Let, let the audience understand this. To understand, are you telling me that the BJP MPs who are part of the standing committee on IT attended the meeting, refused to sign the register because they wanted the meeting to be called off on Pegasus exactly, so that there was no exactly, quorum? That's exactly, so they, they, they were not there. They were not there. Please check the attendance register. The quorum did not happen. There are nine people present. I was present. Shashi Tharoor was present. Karti Chidambaram was present. Nasir Hussain was present. Sumalata was present. Uh, Nadeem Ul Haq was present. And uh, um, Sakshakti Singh Goyal was present. And about two others, Natarajan was present. And one more person was present. These were the nine members who were present and whose attendance has been recorded on the sheet. Because we were one short, we could not, we fell short of the quorum and the meeting did not take place. Mm -hmm. It is another thing altogether that the three... Um, IT Ministry, Telecom Ministry and Ministry of Home Affairs who were supposed to sell their secretaries did not send them. But we fell short of one member. No, no, the I, are you telling me, are you telling me, ma'am, Maua Moitra, that the IT Ministry and the Home Ministry refused to send officials to a parliamentary committee which has summoned that them on absolutely Pegasus? Absolutely correct. That is correct. They are in contempt if you if you do not have written permission of the chairman and the people who were supposed to uh, who were supposed to attend was actually the Telecom Secretary and the IT Secretary and an additional secretary from the Ministry of Home Affairs. They had confirmed attendance and the agenda list was sent out. Out. An hour before the meeting, they informed the, the chairman they were not coming. Mm -hmm. They did not take his permission. That is actually contempt of the Lok Sabha because if you're in contempt of a standing committee, you're in contempt of the Lok Sabha. No, but make so, sense uh, again. Rajdeep, make sense again. Question. Rajdeep, please make sure your people understand this. Please make sure. Yes. Who, if, if, I, if I'm supposed to have called someone X or Y, well, all I can say is if the shoe fits, wear it by all means. But how could I have called someone a name when that person wasn't present? If that person were present, he would have been the 10th. There would have been quorum and the meeting would have happened. Ma'am, you know the, the reason... didn't happen. There were nine members. Please what I'm, Mawa Moitra, what I'm getting to understand from what you're saying is what has happened in parliament is almost unprecedented that a standing right. committee has called home ministry and telecom ministry of presumably to discuss, just a minute, presumably to discuss the fallout of Pegasus or ask questions and right. they one hour before the meeting said they were not coming. Is that what Absolutely. you're telling us today? That's exactly that's exactly what it is. Not one person to post. But where, where, where does this leave? Where does this leave? Therefore, the whole Pegasus issue, because we were told that Shashi Tharoor, yourself, and a few others were keen that the IT standing committee would discuss the issue, possibly of spying on people, of spyware. Absolutely. And now none of that will be discussed because you are claiming that BJP MPs attended the meeting, refused to sign the register, and government officials are not cooperating. Absolutely, that's exactly what happens. I'm not claiming this is the truth. There's nothing of my claim and counterclaim or anything like this. This is bare fact. None of the three ministries, the additional secretary, minister of home affairs, secretary telecom, secretary IT, were on the agenda. They confirmed attendance an hour before, did not show up. No officials turned up. But mm -hmm. besides that, we had 19, we were supposed to have a quorum of 10. Nine people came. I've even named you the one who were yes. not there. And we didn't have quorum because we didn't have the 10th person. So anyone who claims he's been abused, like I said, if the shoe fits, please wear it. But I couldn't have abused someone who was technically not there. So what is this, what the, where, does this, where does this leave the whole process of parliamentary scrutiny? That That's I, you know, exactly what, what, I, what, what is worrying me is the battle. Now the government is claiming you're being obstructionist. The government says, Mawa Moitra, that the opposition is being obstructionist, insisting that Pegasus or no parliament. 
And, uh, Rajdeep, yes. Rajdeep, do you remember when the 2G scam went on, the entire winter session, the BJP had a uh, complete washout, had completely stalled parliament. At the end of it, they got a JPC into the 2G scandal. Now, the Pegasus issue is the biggest issue right now. The Pegasus issue is the biggest issue right now. And we would be falling way short of our responsibilities as opposition <laughs> members if we did not want to address this pressing pressing issue of not just us. It wasn't just parliamentarians and opposition leaders who were snooped upon Rajdi. There were media people on the list. There were army people. There were raw people. This is an issue of national security. On day one, every single opposition party gave an adjournment motion. Every single opposition party. Every day we have said, all we need is a discussion on Pegasus. We need the home minister or the prime minister in the house and we need a discussion. The speaker, the poor speaker, I feel sorry for the poor man. He keeps calling us in and he keeps saying i'm very sorry my hands are tied they will discuss everything but pegasus you mm -hmm. want to discuss covid we can you want to discuss no, no, you're telling me the can. speaker you're telling me the speaker himself has told you all that they will not discuss that they will not discuss pegasus everything's on the table except for pegasus and by the way i can tell you on record yesterday when they learned they couldn't stop it they filed a fake privilege motion against the chairman of the it committee that didn't hold because i've already filed a privilege motion against the IT minister and since he's coming to the house there's no way a privilege motion against Mr. Tharoor will hold. So yesterday they were so desperate because we had 10 people for the CBFC meeting. Mm -hmm. They were calling up actually the two ministers, two senior ministers of the BJP were calling up BJP allies and scaring them and telling them that you better tell your people to stay away from the IT committee meeting. When Subesh Subhash Chandra came in today and there's video footage of that when he came into the IT committee meeting to sign, he was physically prevented from coming in lest he, go, lest he goes in and sign. No, no, you're, you're making, no, 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 that's another, you are telling me that Subhash Chandra, who's a Rajya Sabha MP, was physically right. prevented from attending the IT committee meeting? He was physically meeting? prevented and told to go away lest he come in and sign and the magic figure of 10 would be reached. I'm, this is exactly what happened. I'm going to this ask exactly you in conclusion. how desperate they are to not have Pegasus. There's CCTV all over the Parliament House Annex. He came into his car. He was actually leaving when Mr. Tharoor and I were waiting for our car. So this is all on record. There's nothing to hide. All the press people saw him. So you see how desperate this government is. They will not discuss it in parliament. Mm -hmm. And they are accusing us of, of uh, obstructing parliament. Unless we discuss Pegasus, there is nothing else to discuss. We are sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a final time. I, I, I am going to ask you, therefore, are you saying that Pegasus is going the way of 2G? That the fact is that the opposition has decided if the BJP blocked an entire session of parliament over 2G, we are going to block parliament on Pegasus until the prime minister presumably comes to the house and discusses the issue. Am I correct? Yes, yes of course. We are very clear on this. Every single party, every day the BJP puts out some spiel about how it's opposition disunity and so-and-so called a meeting and so-and-so didn't agree. Today we were in the well of house and we, we were chanting slogans in six different languages. When we said you MPs from the Punjab and the South were shouting when we were uh, when it was in Tamil we were saying it so there was complete unity every single opposition party is united on this the parliament cannot function and you and the Congress are on the same you and the Congress are on the same page 200 percent every single opposition party in the interest of national security in the interest of the safety of our citizens or on the same page we need to discuss Pegasus the government needs to explain what happened who uh, okayed it and what's the way forward okay Nothing, if this is done not done there's no way forward it's if this is, okay Moa Moita you've been very plain you've told us exactly what's happened the sequence of events and really, this is going to create a bit of a stir because I don't think this has happened in Parliament for a standing committee, this kind of... Uh, we've never had people, we've, we've, it's never happened before because we've not had people as shameless and as desperate before. What we saw today was such a thing of desperation. We didn't have that before. Okay, let's leave it there. Mawa Moitro for joining me and uh, at the very top of the show, thanks very much. Let me therefore now widen this debate. How long will opposition unity then last? Mawa Moitra says opposition is united on the issue of Pegasus. Is this parliament session therefore a total washout as Ms. Moitra has claimed? Is the government stonewalling the Pegasus debate and unwilling to discuss it? Just some of the issues we'll raise. Let's get a BJP viewpoint from Guru Prakash, the BJP spokesperson and the Congress viewpoint from Supriya Srinet. To you Mr. Guru Prakash, you've just heard 
Mawa Moitra was saying that the BJP is behaving in a shameless and desperate manner. You didn't even allow an IT standing committee to meet today by not allowing a quorum. You physically stopped some of the members from attending it. This is unprecedented, your response. Rajdeep ji, at the very outset, we must have a sense of perspective and a background. Mm -hmm. On day zero of monsoon session, Honorable Prime Minister of the country has said, and I quote, Vipaksh ke sujhav samvedan shir hote hain, Vipaksh ke sujhav sakaratmak hote hain, aur wo charcha ko aur labdaayek banate hain. The interventions by the opposition is always productive and it's important to have a constructive discussion. Mm -hmm. So it was a, 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 he welcomed it, that you must come and discuss. Today, in the business advisory committee, there was a discussion and Congress party and all the other opposition leaders were asked, you come and discuss, aap aye charcha kariye. But this sort of pandemonium, this sort of cluelessness by the Congress party and the other opposition leader, it is historic in nature. No, sir, no, no, so sir, 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 that, sir, let me, sir, sir, I just need to ask you this. Are you telling me that the government of India is ready to discuss Pegasus? Because the government has very clearly said on more than one occasion that they are not going to discuss this issue. What the IT minister said is sufficient. What is the government hiding? What are you running away from on Pegasus? Rajdeep ji, there is no question of it. This question in itself is misleading. And you need to have a conducive atmosphere. You need to have a positive atmosphere. You cannot have any discussion. Before the session started, my friends from the opposition, they said, Corona pe special session karo, Corona pe special session karo. When the government is ready, when the Honorable Prime Minister is ready to have a discussion on Corona, which is the national priority today, there is a deliberate attempt by section of the opposition uh, parties to derail the entire... No, 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 what, sir, sir, you are, but, sir, you are not but, answering sir, my question. Is the Prime I Minister the question, and sir. the Home Minister ready to discuss Pegasus in Parliament? If the opposition, the government has said we are ready to discuss all issues. Opposition is saying we want to start with Pegasus. Government is saying we will not discuss Pegasus. You tell me, I want a clear answer. Is the government, sir. is the Prime Minister ready to sit in the House and answer clarified doubts... Did the Israeli spyware company sign a contract with the government of India? Sir, your question is value loaded. I am saying this time and again in the business advisory committee, the opposition is ready to raise any issue, including Pegasus. So I don't understand this pointlessness. I don't understand this when the entire purpose of the opposition is to derail the monsoon session. Since day zero, okay. Prime Minister has said, please come and have a discussion on any issue. But Rajdeep ji, today the theatrical intervention of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the nation must know that Mr. Rahul Gandhi is now talking about the spirit of constitution. He has no right, he has no local stand. He is coming from a political institution, he is coming from a structure. There is nothing democratic, not even an iota of Congress is democratic in nature. And now they are giving us lessons on democracy. Okay. This is unacceptable. And okay. Rajdeep ji, if you give me... If you give me time, if you give me time, NSO, NSO, as far as NSO is concerned, they have categorically said that the list is not a list of target. It's not a list of potential target. So you don't believe NSO. You don't believe the government of India. You don't believe any institution. You don't believe the democracy. You don't believe in the constitution. You only believe what? Washington Post or New York Times. Okay. This is unacceptable. Me... You must answer to the people of India. Okay. Supriya Shinet, the principal argument against the Congress is this, this is obstructionism. That what is happening is that at a time when there are issues like COVID, fuel prices, farm laws that you originally went, uh, wanted to discuss, you've now decided Pegasus or nothing. You know, Rajdeep, firstly, I want to shatter this myth that the BJP tries to spread. And then I will tell you step by step of how much they lie and how blatantly they lie. Firstly, this is... Uh, investigation by top-notch 17 news investigative agencies from Le Monde of France to Guardian of the United Kingdom to Washington Post of the US and several others. These are marquee names in news investigative journalism. People that the BJP in the past have quoted when they were in the opposition. Let me remind you. Anyways, this has spread across 45 countries and many of those countries have launched a probe on the basis of what has come to uh, knowledge in public domain from Hungary, Mexico, Morocco, mm -hmm. uh, Israel. The Israeli defense minister has gone down to meet the French president because they're obviously very upset about what has happened. We are perhaps the only democracy in the world where the government of the day wants to turn a blind eye and wants to shut up everybody who's raising these questions. Who's denying there are issues of 
utmost importance. Of course, you failed in Corona last year. But of course, there's backbreaking inflation thanks to you. Of course, once again, of course, there's vaccine. Ms. Srinath, the the government is saying that the IT minister has already spoken. No, no. The government is saying the IT minister has already spoken. Why are you insistent that the prime minister and the home minister come? Yes, I will come to that. I insist on that because this is perhaps the biggest snooping scandal in independent India. And it is not just eavesdropping your phone conversations. It is your entire digital print from your photos, videos, camera, mic, your bank transactions. Everything is in the hand of a foreign firm and not, and not in the hands of normal people. Remember, this is Chief Justice of India. This is the Election Commission. This is Leader of India's Principal Opposition. This is the CBI Director. This is uh, people from finance, people from banking, corporates. Who has been left from this snooping gate? So this is actually a military-grade spyware the which has been is, unleashed the on the people of this country. Clear that this is and not an issue they are willing to, to discuss. To Ma'am, the government is very clear. This is an issue they are not willing to discuss in Parliament. They are saying there yes. are other so fora. Their, their claim is that at the moment, there are issues. The IT minister Rajni. has responded. National security is involved. This is not an issue. And they're saying, please provide us verifiable evidence Fair before point. we move on. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the government of the day needs to be reminded each time when they begin lying. So, firstly, let me point out, till about three days back, and I was debating this issue every day, including on your network, till about three days back, every BJP spokesperson said, why are you creating a ruckus? We are willing to debate this. We are willing to discuss this. Have a full-fledged discussion. Now you want the chapter to be closed because your neck is on the line of fire. Guess what? It is not as simple and not as easy. Ten phones from India have been forensically found to have Pegasus software and its remnants. The reality is that the scandal is right at the doorstep of the Home Minister, right at the doorstep so what of do you want? Prime no, no, Minister. So what do you, you want? You cannot turn a blind so what, eye to this. No, no, so this ma'am, is, ma'am, I want to understand what is, is it that you want? This is national security being no, no, involved here. What is it that you want? The Rahul Gandhi says he wants a Supreme Court monitored probe. I hear Sitaram there Yachuri saying be, there's a JPC. Yes, Mamta Banerjee yes. has ordered her own two-member judicial commission. What do you want? No, firstly, I don't think this attempt to say that the opposition is divided and is asking for different voices. The opposition in one voice wants the prime minister to answer the questions that the country is seeking answers to. Did you or did you not use Pegasus? And the reality, Rajdeep, is if you did, you have to give an explanation as why you were using it, endangering treason and national security. And if you did not... Do you not want to know who was using it in your country? Is that how shallow national security and charges of treason can be? We want a debate in parliament. We want the prime minister to answer the question. And of course, there should be a Supreme Court monitor probe into every allegation that has been raised. Because these are very serious charges of treason right. and official secrets act being breached. The IT Act, the right to privacy, stalking of women. There are various acts that have been pulled into this. The prime minister cannot run away from this debate. He joins Okay. Anyone has to come to parliament Guru, and answer every question that this country wants let, answers to. You know, Guru Prasad ji, the prime minister comes once a week, usually on Thursday mornings to the Rajya Sabha. Beyond that, he is not seen in parliament. The home minister also has been mostly absent during this session. The government is passing bills in a din. When you were in the opposition, you objected to this way of parliamentary intervention. In fact, Arun Jaitley at that time, of course, had said that obstruction is a way to, in a way, communicate the government's, uh, the opposition's concerns. When the government, when the opposition now does it, they are accused of obstructionism. Is the government reluctant to have a debate on this issue? Is there something in this Pegasus issue that troubles the government? Sir, there is no question at all. And when the Honorable IT Minister has made a detailed statement, he has categorically said that there is no substance to this kind of sensationalism. And whatever the Congress Party is suggesting, it's just preposterous without any proof. Rajdeep Ji, you tell me what is the guarantee that if there is a Supreme Court monitored inquiry, the Congress Party would not raise question mark on the integrity and the veracity of Supreme Court like they have done in the Rafal uh, matter. It is in front of eyes of the people of India. And who is uh, the Congress party to give certificate to media authorities that this is a top notch? This is not a top notch. This is uh, the government media. So this is simply preposterous and has no basis. And has no basis. 
the people of India still remember the theatrics and the respect Mr. Rahul Gandhi has for the parliamentary convention when he tore the ordinance of his own party prime minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh, in front of the people of India. What do they want to suggest? They have no respect for parliament. They have no respect for parliamentary convention. Rashti, they have no respect for, for parliamentary institution. Right. So I think this, 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 this debate is misleading when the country should be having a constructive discussion on issues like corona. No, why? 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 No, 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 no. Guru Prasad Ji, why is national security not an important? If your government has actually been spying on opposition leaders, how can you say it's not an important issue? It's scandalous. It will be Rajiv seen as a disfiguring of our democracy. How can you say Rajiv that it's not an important issue? Rajiv Ji, where is the evidence? You give me an iota of evidence and I'll, we would ensure that there seven, is a Seven phones there that have no been evidence. in the list, there seven no phones evidence. in the list have gone through forensic analysis Rajiv, and Pegasus can I come in, Just a minute, ma'am. No, no, what has the... Sir, and spyware... Sir, what has the NSO... What has the NSO said? There is no evidence. On what ground are you asking for a discussion? How can NSO? On what who, who is NSO on, to on give a? Ground? Who is NSO to give a clean no, no, shit to NSO anyone? Ma'am, just a minute, Supriya ji. How can the NSO? NSO is the company which has been exporting the spyware. If Algeria, if France, if Israel itself can announce, uh, order an inquiry, what is stopping gov the government of India? We are a democracy. Even autocracies sir, are announcing inquiries sir, and we are not willing to do so. Algeria. Sir, we, we don't we don't need lessons on democracy from anyone, sir. This government, the people of India, have reposed faith in the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi repeatedly in 2014 and 2019. And I can give you so many state elections. But a democratic government would not have boycotted a democratic government would not have done what they did at the IT standing committee today. Life you stopped said, sir, you stopped life. officials from even coming before the committee. You did not allow so a quorum. What kind of democracy is this? No, no, no. You so are we, passing we, we, bills we without even discussion. having a discussion. Yes, sir, Rajdeep ji, when the Honorable Prime Minister of the country says on day zero of the monsoon session that we are open to having discussion, and he also values, he gives a, a lot of importance to the suggestion from opposition on the day zero of the monsoon session, and the behavior and the pandemonium orchestrated by the opposition party, why are they not answerable for it? I agree with you that anything and everything under the sun can be discussed on the floor of the parliament. Right. But this is no behavior. Okay. When Mr. Rahul Gandhi shows this kind of utter disrespect for parliamentary convention, he must come ahead and answer for it. Rajiv. Okay, final word to you, Supriya Shine. Where does this lead? At the end of the day, the people of this country will need answers. You will argue on hacking and you are insisting that that is the issue in parliament. You have every right. But outside parliament, people are worried about fuel prices. They are worried about the COVID situation. They are worried about the uh, about job losses. Have you all, all decided that this parliament session, all these issues are being put on the back burner? No, absolutely not. And I'm quite amazed that the BJP suddenly wants to discuss Corona. Why have only 9.8 crore people in this country been vaccinated in a country of 140, Mr. Guru Prakash? Why has India's growth target been revised lower by three percentage points to 9.5% from 12.5%? Why is there 10% uh, berozgari in this country, Mr. Guru Prasad? Aap batayenge mujhe ki kyun is desh mein 110 rupai mein petrol bikra hai? The reality is... Because Rajdeep, there is Guru because Rajdeep. Let me finish. I, no, just a minute, I did not speak. I did not speak in between. I did not speak in between. I did not speak in between. Very quickly, Ms. Srinet. Ms. Srinet, thirty seconds. Your turn come to answer. Just give me a second. Yes. Rajdeep, I have just one thing to say. This spying scandal is an erosion of electoral democracy in this country. It's an attack on independent institutions. It's an attempt to infiltrate independent institutions and weaken our democracy. We are not going to turn a blind eye and we will not look the other way. Agar saach ko aach nahi hai, to Modi ji ko dar kyu hai jaach ka? Okay. Kyu darte hai debate se? Kyu bhaagte hai parliament se? Agar sach ka saath dena chaate hai, aay debate karein. Agar okay. debate nahi kar rahe, to zarur daadi mein tinka hai kuch chupa rahe. Aur yeh saara desh jaanta hai, unho ne jasusi karke kya chupa na Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there because this we can go endlessly. Clearly, we are reaching the stage where we are heading for a complete washout of the parliament monsoon session. It's happened before, but it's now happening at a time where clearly both the opposition and the government appear unrelenting in their respective stance. Thank you both very much for joining us. Let's take a breather. Now, one of the concerns.